getting um, pretty unpleasant reports from some of the villages to the south of Mosul City. Um, for example, um, one village called Safina, we heard about 15 civilians reportedly killed and their bodies thrown in the river. And in the same village, uh, at around the same time, uh, six other people, apparently six other men, uh, were tied to a vehicle by their hands and, and dragged around the village. We don't know what happened to those six afterwards. Uh, and bigger, bigger events, uh, 70 civilian bodies found uh, allegedly by the Iraqi forces, government forces, when they captured one village, uh, 70 civilians shot to death. Um, and uh, reportedly on Sunday, most recently, uh, 50 former Iraqi police officers killed. And I think perhaps for me, in a way, the saddest story was um, as they were herding villagers out of a village called Rafaela, um, they shot dead three women and three young girls uh, who were sort of lingering behind, about 100 meters behind the main group of villagers. Uh, and the reason apparently for that was simply because one of those girls was a disabled child uh, and, the, and she couldn't move that quickly and they just shot the, the women and children and wounded four other children. So really ruthless, the kind of behavior we've become accustomed to from, from ISIL. Uh, in terms of civilians being trapped inside Mosul, um, do we know about their circumstances in terms of how ISIS is preventing them from being able to, to leave? We don't know very much about that. It seems to be quite hard to get information out of Mosul itself. Most of the information we are getting, and I should stress this is preliminary information. It's not really fully verified. We have no reason to doubt it, but uh, it's not fully verified yet. Inside Mosul, I think the, the mere fact that so few people have escaped so far, just a few thousand, um, is alarming. I think it suggests people are bottled up there. And the reports Villages are also very alarming that essentially people are being forced to leave uh, quite a few places, herded out, apparently being taken to areas where ISIL probably presumes might get targeted from the air. So it's it's building up to something that could become incredibly ugly mm -hmm. uh, with civilians just uh, sort of a pawn in the, in the battle. Uh, by ISIL. You just referred to that, you know, ISIS using civilians as human shields. We've heard reports of uh, ISIS launching attacks from inside uh, homes of families. Do you trust that the coalition forces are doing everything necessary, will do everything necessary to minimize uh, civilian casualties? Well, certainly we're calling on them to do so, and so, so are others. Um, it's very important. Uh, we've had sort of bad examples from when they recaptured uh, Fallujah, um, less from the official government forces and more from these uh, sort of unofficial militias fighting alongside them. And I think it's really important that uh, the government keeps the rein on these militias and keeps the rein on its regular soldiers, uh, make sure they don't um, kill civilians, they don't assume civilians are, are with ISIL, and they don't uh, maltreat prisoners either, even if they are ISIL, clearly ISIL fighters. Uh, they should be protected under, under the laws of, of war.